Hello children. Today I will complete with the explanation of Act 1, Scene 3. Previously we had learned that Bassanio and Antonio had gone to uh, Shylock to borrow 3,000 ducats. And Shylock reminds Antonio about all the uh, insults and abuses that uh, he had inflicted upon uh, Shylock at the Rialto. But still Shylock says that he is ready to help Antonio in order to win his friendship and love. He is also ready to give the money without taking any interest. And he says that he is uh, doing all this uh, just to show kindness uh, towards Antonio and Bassanio. But here uh, Shylock plays a very uh, wicked trick uh, and that is he uh, wants Antonio to sign a bond and uh, the condition laid down in the bond was that if Antonio is not able to repay the money in uh, three uh, months then Shylock will be free to cut one pound of flesh from any part of Antonio's body. So this was a, a wicked plan of Shylock uh, by which he wanted to take revenge that is if Antonio was not able to repay the money on time then Shylock will get that chance to take uh, revenge uh, on Antonio. Now I will continue with uh, the last part of uh, Act 1 scene 3. Antonio, content I faith, I'll seal to such a bond and say there is much kindness in the Jew. Antonio, uh, when he hears the condition, Shylock uh, tells the condition that is to be written down in the bond and it is to be signed by Antonio, Antonio readily agrees to sign that bond. Content in faith, that means he says he is indeed satisfied with the bond, with the conditions mentioned in the bond. I'll seal to such a bond. Seal means sign. Antonio says that he will si sign such a bond and say that uh, there is much kindness in the Jew. That is, uh, that uh, Shylock was trying to be very kind to them. Bassanio, you shall not seal to such a bond for me. I'll rather dwell in my necessity. But here Bassanio does not trust Shylock and he doesn't want Antonio to sign that bond. So he tells uh, Antonio that he shall, he shall not seal, uh, that is sign such a bond for him. I'll rather dwell, dwell means live in my necessity. Necessity means need. So Basanio says that he would rather live in his need, that is he will live, with, uh, live in whatever uh, he has. He does not want uh, any money to be borrowed from Shylock. Antonio, why fear not man? I will not forfeit it. But Antonio tells Bassanio uh, that uh, he should not fear. Uh, there is nothing to be afraid of because he will not forfeit it. That means he, uh, Antonio is sure that he will uh, not be able to uh, take the punishment that is mentioned in the uh, bond. That is he is very confident that he will be able to repay the money in three months. So he tells Bassanio not to fear. Within these two months, that's a month before this bond expires, I do expect return of thrice three times the value of this bond. And uh, why is Antonio uh, so confident? Because he says that within two months, that is, a month before this bond expires. They had to return the money in three months. So here Antonio says that a month before that uh, the bond expires, he expects to return thrice three times, that is nine times the value of the bond. Because he was uh, very sure that his ships would be coming back, will all be returning in two months. And then he will be able to uh, sell his goods and collect enough money to 
repay the 3000 ducats and he says that uh, he will be able to uh, return thri thrice three times that is nine times the amount that he has borrowed shiloh o father abraham what these christians are whose own hard dealings teaches them suspect the thoughts of others so when uh, antonio uh, shylock hears what antonio is saying shylock says that o oh, father he is uh, surprised and he says o oh, father abraham abraham here is for abraham what these christians are that means what type of people these christians are whose own hard dealings hard dealings means whose own unjust dealings with others teaches them to suspect the thoughts of others so shylock says that christians are so unjust in their dealings with others that uh, they themselves are suspicious about the thoughts of others pray you tell me this if he should break his day what should i gain by the exaction of the forfeiture and then shylock uh, asks a question that if he should break his day that is if antonio uh, break his day break his day means uh, unable to pay that if antonio is unable to pay the money on time then what will uh, shylock gain by the exaction of the forfeiture exaction means taking and forfeiture here means penalty so if antonio is not able to repay the money what will shylock gain by taking the penalty a pound of man's flesh taken from a man is not so estimable profitable neither as flesh of muttons beasts or goats and here shylock says that a pound of man's flesh uh, which is taken from a man is not valuable that is uh, the flesh of man is of no value it is profitable neither it is of no use also uh, like the flesh of mutton beasts or goats uh, uh, someone can use the uh, meat of uh, meat like mutton bees and goats and all but uh, the flesh of a human being is of no use to anyone i say to buy his favor i extend this friendship and then shylock says that he is uh, uh, doing all this just to buy his favor buy here means gain gain his favor that is antonio's favor i extend this friendship and he is offering that friendship so he says that he is offering his friendship he is ready to help antonio and basanio just to gain antonio's favor if he will take it so if not adieu and then uh, very casually shylock says that if he is ready uh, if antonio is ready to accept uh, his help then it is all right so means all right if not adieu adieu means goodbye if he doesn't want my help then uh, goodbye and for my love i pray you wrong me not and then he says that for my love that is for the act of love for uh, the act of helping uh, basanio and antonio i pray you wrong me not he requests them that uh, for the act of love that he was showing the kindness that he was showing for that uh, he, they should not be unfair or unjust to shylock antonio yes shylock i will seal unto this bond so antonio says that he is ready to sign the bond shylock then meet me forthwith at the notaries so then shylock tells antonio to meet him forthwith forthwith means soon soon at the notaries notaries means the lawyer's office give him direction for this merry bond and why were they to meet at the lawyer's office so that the lawyer could be given direction direction means uh, instructions for making the merry bond to for preparing the humorous bond because shylock said that he was just uh, making that bond and uh, making antonio sign that bond out of fun 
and I will go and pause the dockets straight and he will go home and immediately uh, at once he will put the dockets in, in a purse and bring. Say to my house left in the fearful guard of an unthrifty knave and presently I'll be with you. And then Shiloh says that he will also have to see to his house. He will have to see that his house is safe because it was left in the fearful guard. Fearful guard means unreliable charge of an unthrifty knave. Unthrifty means uh, somebody who wastes a lot of money. And knave here means servant. So Shylock was worried about his house because he had left his house in the hands of a very unthrifty servant, a very wasteful servant. And presently I'll be with you and immediately uh, he will come back uh, to uh, Antonio and Bassanio. Antonio, hi the gentle Jew. Uh, hi the means make haste, that is be quick, gentle Jew. He tells uh, Shylock to be quick. Exit Shylock. So Shylock goes away from there. Then after he goes, Antonio says, the Hebrew will turn Christian, he grows kind. So here we uh, see that Antonio believes that Shylock is really being kind to them. And he says that the Hebrew, the Hebrew means the Jew will turn Christian. That is, he will uh, become a Christian because he uh, grows kind. That is, because he is showing a lot of kindness. Bassanio, I like not fair terms and a villain's mind. But here Bassanio does not trust Shylock. And what does he say? That he does not like fair terms. Fair terms means kind words. And a villain's mind. That is a wicked person's mind. So he does not trust the kind words coming from a wicked person's mind. That is he does not believe the words, the kind words spoken by Shylock. Antonio, come on, in this there can be no dismay. But still Antonio tells Bassanio that there is nothing to dismay. Dismay means fear. There is nothing to be, uh, nothing to fear. My ships come home a month before the day. And he is uh, still very confident that his ships will be coming home before the day. Before the day means before uh, the, the last day on which the bond expires. So children now uh, here we see the difference between the two friends Antonio and uh, Bassanio. Antonio is overconfident that uh, his ships will come in two months. He will be able to repay nine times the amount he has borrowed. So we see that Antonio is overconfident. But Bassanio sees the risk related to the bond. He, uh, he sees the risk that uh, if uh, uh, Antonio is not able to repay the money in three, time, three uh, months, then uh, what risk is there for Antonio's life? He sees that. Then another point that we see he is that Antonio is ready to sign the bond. Uh, twice he says that he's, uh, he agrees with the bond and he is ready to sign the bond. But both the times uh, Vasanio tries to stop him. And uh, he says, he even says that he is ready to live within uh, whatever he has and that he d uh, did not believe the kind words coming from a villain's mind. But still Antonio does not listen to him. And then uh, another point uh, of difference between the two friends is that Antonio easily believes uh, even a wicked person like Shylock. Whereas uh, Bassanio, he does not trust Shylock and his kind words. He sees that he is suspicious and he sees that there is some wicked plan behind uh, Shylock's uh, kind words, behind the help that Shylock was offering to them. So children, this is the end of uh, Act 1, Scene 3. Uh, uh, revise what I have explained today. In the next uh, video, I will start with uh, Act uh, 2.